Hey guys, this will be a video for the Runelight Leaper, so if you'd like to see how to collect it as a Kieran member, then please keep on watching. This will be my third mission from the Adventure Campaign, so today I have the Runelight Leaper. It's only a four hour mission, which is a big change from the other two that I've done. Okay, so looking at their health, the one I will have to focus on is this one on the top left. He has 3,000 something compared to the 2,000 and the bottom four, which are all under 1,000, but they're all healers. So I think the difficulty with this one is that I don't have too many companions that will actually target the back line. You'll see what I mean in a second. So it's not all about just putting in your highest level companions because you need to be able to target the right things. So player, I'll actually put in the middle. This one will actually target the bottom four, so that's good. Helagos actually targets everyone, so I'll be putting him in as well. And then I think the key to this one is to actually add some healing. Oh, just to illustrate, so this one actually only targets one. So I don't really want to use her. Talia, though, actually targets one, but she also heals as well. So you can see there's a plus to my left, and if I move it down here, it will heal Pelagos. And then the last slot. I'm thinking of adding another healer, just to illustrate. So that one only targets one, so I don't want him. Roman actually targets one, so I don't necessarily want him either. This is a group healer, which will reduce it quite a lot, 13 versus eight rounds. And then this one would actually, I would have liked to have used, but she's not actually that high, so she won't be doing too much damage, even though she will focus one vertical line, which would be great if I could put it there, because as I said, the one on the back row has the highest amount of health. 14 out of 8. And then if you try loading in the other two it does reduce my round of success down by one but it's still not great 14.9 so essentially you actually want to make it harder for them to win so increase their number of rounds and decrease ours but you're not really going to get that with this lineup So I think that might be the best setup that I have at the moment. So right now I have two of my companions getting healed. So Pelagos is getting healed from this one. And then the middle one is getting healed from this guy over here. So I only have three hours left before this mission actually expires. So I may as well just give it a go and see how they do. They're all full health, aren't they? Yep. So that way, even if I do fail, I'll be able to see how the mobs actually do and then go from there. Let's see how we did.
Oh well. Oh nice! Turns out that planning worked out after all. I already have the last mission. Well, wow. it seems like these missions are they increase in difficulty. I'm guessing this is the hardest one, although the one that I had just then is definitely more challenging than the first two. I don't know if it's the same for the other covenants, but at least it is for Kyrian. <laughs>